Guys, this is not a drill. I just discovered the absolute best way to farm studs in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I'm making about 2 billion studs every 5 minutes using this method. No, that's not an exaggeration, it's totally legit, and in today's video I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm doing it. Real quick, ever since this game dropped, the channel has been popping off again. I really appreciate all the new viewers coming in and checking out the videos. If you are new and you want to stay in the loop with more LEGO Star Wars content, consider subscribing and getting notified, and if you find today's tips helpful, be sure to like the video. Now, I've seen some excellent stud farming guides on YouTube. There's the episode 9 method with the first mission that gets you anywhere from 750 million to about a billion studs every 5 minutes. There's the Rancor on Bespin method, where you can rampage around Bespin with either the Rancor or a Walker, and that will get you about a billion every 5 minutes. But this method, guys, beats them both by almost double. This method is what I call the Bounty Hunter Astromech method. Basically, you're making a dream team between the Astromech and the Bounty Hunter classes. Check this out real quick. That's insane! In summary, what's happening here is there are endless waves of stormtroopers coming at us. The astromech is distracting them while the bounty hunter lights them up and rakes in all of those studs. So for this to work, you have to level up both of these classes. Most importantly is the bounty hunter, which the bounty hunter class guys is so ridiculously overpowered. It's got two upgrades that you want to max out for this trick to work. The first one is called Hidden Bounties. This gets you 750 studs every time you take out an enemy with the Bounty Hunter. I think you might see where this is going. The next one is called Scattershot, and this is the one that makes the Bounty Hunter OP. This takes your weapon and turns it into a four-shot burst shotgun. When it's maxed out, it's got an enormous spread that lets you take out groups of enemies at once, not to mention every single shot from that burst counts as one additional hit on your combo meter. You can get upwards of a 300 hit combo just by lighting up groups of enemies with the Bounty Hunter. It's insane. As for the Astromech, all you need is one upgrade leveled up, and that's the Hologram. It's called Distraction in the upgrade screen. You don't even have to max this one out, you can if you want, all this will do is distract the enemy, anywhere from 5 to 8 seconds, which gives you plenty of time to take them out, and it stops you from taking damage too. In the footage I used R2-D2 here, but I recommend a shorter astromech, somebody like BB-8, that way if he ever gets in the way, you have less of a chance of shooting him, and you can keep all of your shots directed at the enemy. So obviously, this alone is not enough to rake in 2 billion studs every 5 minutes. You absolutely need the stud multipliers. These are unlocked in the extra screen. You need a data card and a certain number of studs to unlock the next level. If you don't know where to find data cards, I just put out an excellent guide on where to find all 19 data cards in the Skywalker Saga. I'll leave a link to that video in the pinned comment and in the description. There's also a link popping up in the top right corner now. You just need 5 data cards to unlock all of the stud multipliers, and once you do unlock them, you'll make back all of the studs you spent on them in the first place. Once you've got those multipliers unlocked, once your bounty hunter and astromech are ready, all you need to do is find the spot where the stormtroopers spawn in endlessly and go to town. WHERE IS THAT SPOT?! <laughs> I should probably tell you, huh? So, the spot you're looking for is in Moss Eisley. It might help to mark a location on the map, so if you pull up the map, you want to look for a spot where a protocol droid can input a password. It's kind of towards the middle. Set that destination and then you can follow the marker there. As soon as you get out of the landing pad though, hang a right and then go straight down that street for a little bit. You're gonna see the Trade Tower ahead of you, and the Trade Tower is always an excellent landmark. If you're ever lost in Moss Eisley, just look for the tower and you can probably find your way around based off of that. But once you get to the base of the tower, hang a left and then go straight down that street for a little bit longer, and the spot you're looking for is going to be on your left. You're gonna look for a fenced off area being guarded by a stormtrooper on the other side. If you can't get in just yet, no problem, just switch over to a Jedi, mind trick that stormtrooper, and then he can let you in from there. As soon as you enter that area though, the alarm will start to sound, and that is what's going to trigger the endless waves of stormtroopers spawning in. All you want to do is switch over to your bounty hunter and astromech, light them up, and rake in all the studs. It's really as simple as that, guys. If you've got your stud multipliers maxed out, you're going to be making about 200 million studs per wave of stormtroopers, and then there's about 10 seconds in between waves. Depending on how quickly you can take these stormtroopers out, that will determine how quickly you can get your studs, and if you're really fast, you can make about 2 billion every 5 minutes. 
On top of that, you're getting about a 100 million stud bonus from your combo meter. Since every shot in that burst counts as a hit towards your combo, you're going to be ending on about a 250 to 300 hit combo after every single wave. When that hit timer runs out, you're going to be awarded all of those studs that you saved up in that combo at the end. So. Technically, per wave, you're making about 300 million studs, which is insane. The alarm might get a little bit annoying after a while, since you have to have it on, otherwise the waves of stormtroopers will stop. Just fight every temptation you have to turn it off. And with that, that's the tip, guys. With this method, you will never run out of studs. You will always have currency to pick up new characters or new ships or whatever else you need. Once again, if you're having trouble finding the data cards to unlock those stud multipliers, check out that video, it's super helpful. I break down where to get the data card starting from each landing pad so you can easily get to it no matter what. If you liked today's video and you found the tips helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up guys. And once again, if you're new, consider subscribing and getting notified. With that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.